My body is ready, man. My body is freaking ready. I have nobody else to blame but you guys for getting me addicted to this game. I want to thank you guys for tuning back into the channel. Today, we will be continuing the series that we have recently started. And I know, again, I am extremely late on this. But I think this is going to be a really great journey. I'm going to try and continue and finish these episodes quicker. That way, we can be up to date with the series and the game or whatnot. After this episode is over, the following episodes, I'm thinking I should do an entire episode. So if the episode, so for instance, if I go to episode status, today we will be finishing a new day. When we start episode two on the third video, I should do the entire episode, even if it's like an hour long. I'm thinking that's going to be the best way to complete this series and move on to season two and of course season three. Leave a like on this video if you guys agree with me on that. That way I can bring longer videos and finish this series quicker for you guys but anyways what's up guys one of us hollow and welcome back all right guys so here we are last time we left off with lee here in the barn should i investigate is this game is this a game where i can uh go to certain places be sure to check with everyone uh, okay that you've met i thought this would be a game that i can go and probably find out clues or whatnot maybe i can maybe i cannot we will find out let's talk to duck here How you doing, duck? You like that tractor, son? You hopping on that chair? What is wrong with you, child? How you doing, duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. <laughs> I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Poor little kid, man. He's a cute little kid. I'm not going to lie. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. All right, then. Well, let's help you set up the fence. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Okay, need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Awesome, man. I got you, bro. In my other life, I was a carpenter. Carpenter. What the fuck did I just... My dad doesn't carpenter. know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. You gotta do what you gotta do. Was the boy one of was the walkers? The boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Hmm. Do you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I bashed the poor girl's brains in. I had to, I had shoot, to one. shoot one. Let's be honest. I could here. shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Sean Dad just wants to keep that. the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My parents are in Macon with my brother. I don't know where my ex-wife is. I'm not close to family. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Maybe it's not. That's probably all Maybe I need it cut is. for now. Thanks. Well, you're welcome, sir. You better give me lunch or something, cause you boy hungry. Do you uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. All right, you got it, bro. You got it. Okay, well, I'll be on my way to uh, my next destination. I'm going to talk to everybody that I've met, like the game told me to. Then we just literally skipped from all the way over there <laughs> to here. <laughs> this guy teleported. Oh, we got some chickens here. Can we talk to the chickens? No? Okay. All right, let me look at uh, Kadja. Is that her name? Hey there, girls. You two actually looked relaxed. What do you do? How was the city? I'm actually quite intrigued. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Uh, you know what? Who wouldn't? Anybody sure. in their right mind would. Families and 
barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. That actually sounds really good. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? You two actually looked relaxed. What do you do? I'm Back gonna in a exit. Bit. Okay, yeah. Lee. I'm already done talking to you. You're scared. Your son is scared. Your husband is weird. And I'm gonna go talk to him now. Hey Kenny. there, uh, Kenny. You need any help? What's your plan? You know what? What? Actually, do you need any help? Let me be. Let me. A, let me be a fine man and and ask this man if he needs my need any help. My help here. No, I think I got it. Okay, well then, screw you. Do then. you need any help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing. You got kids of your own. Now, nah, bro, I'm a pimp. I'm a pimp with a limp. No kids. Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. Yep. You Can know. I learn something about you? How's your son doing? Eh. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. Oh. You've got a boat. He's a fisher. I'm a commercial a fisherman. Catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. <laughs> I said he's a fisher. <laughs> How's your son doing? Good, I think. katya has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. Ooh. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Okay. See you. Okay, you showed an interest in his family. Well, since I gotta talk to everybody here now, hey. I guess... You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful. <laughs> you learn about Clementine's first grade. Okay, she's a first grader. So obviously, the more we talk to people, the more we learn about so, them. Uh, so that's good. That what has some help us in some way. Shape corpses or form. aren't walking around. I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats, and uh, not horses. Oh, there you what go. is it that you do, Lee? Well, I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Back in a bit. Okay. okay, Lee. She learned that I was fired because... I'm a pimp with a limp. Right now my limp is just a little bit healed. And about that job thing, ain't nobody want to go back to work. I don't like working. What's up, Herschel? How you doing, sir? Picking the hay. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. I got a ride. I was on my way out anyway. I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was well, brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents aren't making. No wife anymore. My parents aren't making. My parents making. are in making with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was looking for help in her house. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Mind your own business. <laughs> Sure. 
I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh, oh. What? Go! I'll get my gun! Wait, what's going on here? Hello, guys? Oh, who got bit? Oh, oh my god, the fucking kid! No, 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 no! Yo, what am I supposed to do? You chose to shoot. Wait, what am I supposed to do? What? No! I got you. Wait, let me. No, please. Dude, what the fuck? I'm so lost right now. Oh no! Oh! No! Oh my god! I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I'm gonna cry like a little bitch. Oh. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! Oh my god. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. It's my fault. Oh my god. It's nobody's fault, really. You don't need to say anything. Oh. You tried. Please. Just go. Oh my god, dude. Get out and never come back. Is, is this part of the story? Or was it just a... Got that ride to make it if you want it. Oh my goodness. His son died, man. Oh my goodness. Cherokee hardware. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Oh man, I hope that wasn't a mistake that I made. Look! It was the kid's fault. Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. I don't think so, bro. Fuck! You better fucking run! Oh, goodness! We got zombies! Oh, fuck! They spread like fucking ants! Oh, goodness. No, 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 no! Oh! What the hell's going on here? That's sexilated. Looks like Glenn and Maggie. <laughs> Believe it. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. 
They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. We're okay. Where the hell Come is on, your humanity? We have kids. Come on, bitch. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I, I have to pee. <laughs> I'd go out there again in, in a, a minute. second. I bet you would. In a minute, Cleo. Come on, girl, you better pee your They've pants. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. Ooh. God damn it, Lily. She's you an have asshole. control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in I'm a not, war zone. I'm not gonna say shit, bro. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. Oh, my shit. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic. That's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Oh! Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out. Oh, or God. smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Wait, what do we do about this guy? I'm gonna slap his ass. It's just a boy. It's him or Doc. It, reason with him. Kick him. his Put ass. Heart, Dad. Reason with him. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Did it Nobody so threatens my boy. Everyone, okay. chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut what the up, fuck is Lily. going on here? And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. Oh, they don't He's know. He's not that. bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. It's his son. Uh, upsetting is getting me alive. If it was alive. your girl, Dad, sit down or else. It. It's a big All right. deal. Do sit you, down or else, you motherfucker. You're not fucking acting like it. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> yeah, that's you right. You in one homo parade? This one. <laughs> that's good. Little boy. Before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. Oh, I'm gonna beat this I'm guy's kill ass. A cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Don't go there. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Oh, God, then, he's just a boy. Once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. So then, there'll be three. This guy's a fucking little boy. Dick, bro. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Hit him. Can he stop him? No, stop him. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! <laughs> oh, You shit. better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Oh. <laughs> shit, it's getting nice, the bro! Oh. 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 Jesus. Oh. What the fuck oh. is that? Oh. 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 oh, God, this guy has his fucking pimped leg, bro! Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, am I supposed to? What? Oh! Oh, thank you so much, dear. You saved her. Uh, guys? Wait, what do you mean, Comet? Tell him I didn't save her. What the, what the fuck is going on? I... Oh my god. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Oh goodness. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, there you go. Uh, get your ass a heart attack, you son of a bitch. Oh, what's wrong with him? Was he on? Was he the one? But I told him to calm down. What's wrong with him? 
It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Oh, okay. So now you want my fucking help through the office? We'll do it somehow. What are you looking for? Through the office. This is probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. All right, we're Everyone gonna... else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out okay. and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Okay, you're insane. That'd be great. You know your way around town? Fuck. You're insane. You're insane. Fuck well, it. it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye Lily on him. Lily and Larry. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. it and I'm Carly. Who the fuck okay, is Carly, that guy? Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. All right. I'm so sorry, Clementine, that I could not save you. I was trying my best, but I didn't know what the hell to do. This mouse and keyboard shit is confusing as hell. Right? Examine the corkboard. Easter egg hunt. Um, the it's IT guy. Okay. I already saw that. Why did I click it again? Why? No, why? Because I'm an idiot. Let's talk to Doug here. How are you doing, Heard Doug? Have seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Uh, uh, uh not now. Uh, not right now. How, All right, how, let how, me know if you want to. How about I talk to other people before we, uh, you know, we jump to conclusion here, bro? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, oh. especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. All right, you handle yourself well. What are you working on? You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. Oh. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, oh, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. <laughs> a dorky guy. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. All right, well, that guy saved you? That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Oh, is there a crush? Is there a crush happening here? You know what, I'm gonna exit back this to conversation. Yep. Because I gotta get back to work, okay? Nice knowing you, reporter lady. What is this, a newspaper? Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Oh, yeah, that is true. Hey, Clementine, how you doing, sweetheart? I'm so sorry I couldn't save you, okay? I'm gonna talk Looks to you like real quick. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. But let me see, there's no food here, okay. How you doing, Clementine? I am so sorry. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So the guy's name is Glenn. Can, Can I, I get you uh, anything? Get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Okay. We should get so, to know each um, other. Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is <laughs> good, despite the circumstances. Yep. What's right. the type? All right, okay. Clementine, I hope you don't hate me because I couldn't save you, but I was nervous as hell. There was nothing that I could do. Okay, I just hope you understand that. 
This is the ATM. It really serves no purpose, cause money Not damaged. doesn't do shit here. Get looted. Okay. This is the middle of the apocalypse, or rather, yet the beginning of the apocalypse. Money has no currency, really. Talk to Lily. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Hey, listen here, bro. I could have punched the shit out of your dad, all right? So calm the fuck down. You're from here. What do you think about all of this? I don't, okay. I'm going to get back to him. I don't Sounds need to know good. what's wrong with him if I already oh, know he has heart problems. Yeah. It was a crazy situation and you froze. Before, with that thing coming out of the bathroom. Uh, yeah. Just don't beat yourself up over it. We stick together and we'll be okay. I honestly, I couldn't even move. I don't know. My keyboard was probably not in the game. I don't know what happened. Okay. Alive inside. Authorized employees only. Okay. So I guess... Here we go. Oh, so we're uh, okay. We are in the office. We're actually moving. And Clementine is with us because she is like a dog holding on to my fucking leg. Can I just be by myself? I need to feel a little manly here. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Yeah, this is kind of fucking sad, dude. I don't want to cry, bro. I already have a feeling I'm going to start crying like a little bitch. Okay, let me look out the alley. This door leads to the back alley. Okay, so maybe I can move the door. Maybe in the future we got some first aid kits. Maybe here we got uh, the pills that the old man needs. Let me examine the bed. The parents came in here hoping to survive. <laughs> but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying oh. to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Oh, wait, this is where his family was? My dad? What? First aid kit. Is that maybe why he knows that this is the office? First aid kit. Yeah, how about you pick it up? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Okay. That's kind of weird and uh, strange that he knows what the hell this place is and that his parents were here. Move the pallet. Okay, we're going to move the pallet. And we found... What did we find? Ooh! Well, this is nice. What's that? It's a weapon. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Oh, man. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it. Oh, cool. this is his dad's like place. Had. My dad <laughs> gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Wow, okay. <clears throat> That's kind of... I didn't know that. Probably his dad was the owner of this little pharmacy shop here, or whatever it is. Little shopping center. That's I ought to clear a path to open in that door. That's, that's cool. It's good we to know. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Okay, so how do we clear the door? Let's move the desk. Better get this door clear, huh? Okay. Can I help? Uh, well... Sure. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How are you doing? Things have been scary, huh? You don't need anything, right? How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Man, this little music in the background is going to make me want to freaking shit tears, bro. It's so sad. Do you have kids? You don't have a family? What do your parents do? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? Let's just move this thing. <sighs> I want to be what nice to her. parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? <laughs> I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. Okay. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. She's so nice, and I feel like I, I feel bad being mean to her. You know what I mean? But I 
guess. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? I'm a criminal! Because they're dead. I hope not. It's just complicated. Oh man, don't tell me they're dead, bro. I hope not. It's just complicated. That's all. Why? It just is. God damn, this little girl has so many fucking but questions. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got in some trouble. We'll keep that between us. I'm not a bad guy. I killed someone. Wait, what? I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because oh. of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Oh, now, okay. let's get this done. Now we're learning things about Lee. He is a savage convict. Ow! Oh, goodness. Oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? <laughs> a little. I'll find you a bandage. Alright, now we can go to the first aid, maybe? Yes. Okay, there we go. There wasn't anything we needed there before, but now there is because now we can get a banded, a banded, a bandage. Excuse me, guys, and we can heal up. Clementine. How are we doing over there? Okay, it still hurts. All right, let's let's you know, let's stitch you up, homegirl. Let's girl. have a look at that finger. Put that bandage. No. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Can we apply it? Um, there we go. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Okay. There we go. Well, look at that. You and your pixelated fingers. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Well, um, they'll find us. Um, I don't think they will. I'm gonna be, Lee? I don't want to freak they her out. Are. Track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me. That's very that, true. Okay? That's very, very true. <laughs> Stay close to me. He couldn't even save her, bro. <laughs> That's the door to the pharmacy. Oh. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Okay, so how about we open the door? It's locked. Oh, God. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Okay, so what now? Open the drawer. Are the keys in here? Nope. No keys. Where are the keys? There's a photograph. There's a photo over there. Okay, this is the bed. You guys think the keys are here? I don't think the keys are here, honestly. Let me see if they're around the desk, maybe. Unless this is just the first aid kit. Oh, what is up here? Dad, keep the remote for that thing in here someplace. Okay, yeah, the remote is in there. Search the drawer. It's the remote to my dad's TV. There we go. Can we turn it on? Okay. There we go. What happens when That's we turn it on? That's what I figured. Okay, no signal. I thought maybe we turned on the TV, we could find some clues or, you know, maybe the news or something. Now I, I, I really don't know where where the keys could be. If we leave this room, can we find the keys somewhere in here? Okay, so what is in here? Energy bar. Oh, oh, hello there. Thank you very much. I will steal that energy bar. Okay, what is in here? Another energy bar. <laughs> Gotta get that protein up, man. Gotta see where the keys are at, though. Examine the ATM. I don't think we'll find anything in the ATM. This is the food. Okay. Hey there. Oh. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. 
What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. A jog? You think we're going to go out for a jog? Have you lost your fucking mind? Hey, Lee. Let's see if we really can talk to these that guys old here. Man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Okay, how's Doug doing? What's the plan? Are you guys alright? Lee, okay. you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. You let the kid die. <laughs> it happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Lee is a good man, bro. I like Lee. Console? Console. Try to let it go. <laughs> Console. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Okay? I'm fucking... I'm all emotional and shit. My feelings aren't here. They're clouding my judgment and my abilities to read we properly. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Okay. Examine photographs. I don't remember them very well. Alright, what is this? Newspaper clippings. Alright, I'm trying to see if we find some keys around here. Because if we do... Oh man. It's gonna be a picture of him. Oh, his mom and dad. Oh, damn it, Lee. I'm getting attached to you, bro. I'm getting all fucking no, emotional here. I'm sorry here. to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Here, guys. I'll give you some snacks. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Alright. Don't tell me anything else, alright? I just need you to back me up whenever I'm about to get eaten by these fucking zombies. Kenny, I expect you to get in there and uh, help a brother out. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go in here. Is this the counter? Can I can I go here? No, I cannot. Okay. Oh, the moonwalk. All right. Here's the reporter check. Is what are you the messing radio? around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Mm, let's see what this radio does. All right. Turn the radio over. Put the antenna up. Check the batteries. Doesn't have no batteries in this. Batteries, thing. dumbass. Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. <laughs> I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Alright. Let's uh I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Hmm. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. How'd you end up here? I'm looking for batteries for your radio. Alright, you ready to head out? You ready to head out? Let's you go. got it. You? Yep. Yeah. Let's, Let's ride go. out, bro. We're gonna bang out these zombies. You guys ready? Let's go. Shit. Get down! Uh oh. Oh, okay. How you doing? God damn, you ugly as hell. Whew. If I'm not mistaken, it seems like the zombie apocalypse started recently, but these zombies are pretty advanced. Or the walkers, whatever the they call them in this game. Guys! Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go! Oh my now! God. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, 
I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. Oh, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Yeah, bro, you fucking... Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. So fucking rude, man. Women always hate on other women, bro. That's a known fact. Alright, what the hell's going on here? Alright. Alright, hello. Okay. What are we supposed to do plan. here? We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Alright. Uh peek over the wall. Alright. Okay, peek for too long. And you will be seen. Oh. Okay. Alright, Glenn. Look at the truck. Move towards the truck. Be careful. Be fucking careful, Lee. Oh, goodness. This is very interesting. Okay. There's a screwdriver there. Oh, God. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Yeah, but now we just have to get it quietly. Yeah. How do we do that? How do we get in quietly? Maybe we'll go back this way. Okay, we're gonna go back this way and I'll try to kill the zombie over here. Maybe. There's a pillow over there. Oh, that's about as far as I got when it came to supply. Gear. I might have an idea for it. There's a pillow. What are we gonna do with the pillow? There's a pillow. Over okay, there. you already said that. That's Shut about up. About as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea. All right, for come it. on, come on, get the pillow, Lee. Take the pillow and Good suffocate them. That's not really what I have in mind. Okay, what did you have in mind, Lee? Huh? Maybe we can use the pillow for something else. They really want to get into that room. Okay. Can I put the pillow where that zombie is? Let's see. Can we do it? Get out your gun. But the noise. Ooh. Just follow my lead. Okay. Stay right behind me. Oh, God. <laughs> Suffocate the fucking zombie. There's no way that... That was sick. Oh, I just learned something for... Does that really suppress the gun's fire? A pillow? <laughs> okay. Open the door first. Yes, open the door. There's something here. There's a spark plug. We could probably break the window with a spark plug. Yes. Fuck it, let's do it. Here goes nothing. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Okay, now push the car. As a matter of fact, wait. Yep, let's go back to the truck. And see if we can break the window with the spark plug. It will make less noise. Is that a possibility? Yep. Wait. Uh-oh. Let me see the spark plug. Okay. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Okay. There we go. I told you guys. Don't ask me how I knew that. Oh. Oh. Okay. Good. I thought they were going to see us. But now we got the screwdriver. That could scramble a brain pretty good. Ooh, okay, exactly now we're locked and loaded, you motherfuckers. Right, let's go now. Now we attack. Here we go, guys. You guys ready? We're gonna push the car. Shit is getting really intense, I'm not gonna lie. Here we go. This is gonna make some noise. 
Oh, there's an axe there. That's nice. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, shit, dude. This is so tense, dude. Oh, God. What do we do now? Let's see if we can attack this zombie now. And eliminate him once and for all. Here we go. We're gonna look over we there first. By that RV. Now, if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Yep, now we're gonna run. Got my eye on these zombies. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, you're gonna get it, bro. You're gonna get a fucking spanking! Ooh! In the head, it's all in the head. You gotta hit the brain. If you don't hit the brain, you don't hit. Lee, I got no words to rhyme with that. Sorry. That's right, Lee. Nice. Beat that bitch up. For sure. Alright, now we got the screw. Ooh, how about the axe, though? The axe seems a lot better. Now we actually have a real weapon, something that we can. Damn! Oh, I do not feel bad for him, though. Damn, he stuck Dude, the... where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. He took the entire fucking cool. screw. Now we've got this. That's right. Are you two done? Oh, we got a fucking axe. Give me that shit. We're gonna save that poor girl upstairs. That should help. We're gonna finish this job once and for all. Here we go. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. No, you won't. You know, God knows you're going to run the fuck out of here as soon as shit hits the fan. Okay, you ready, Lee? My first attempt to a professional zombie killing spree. All right, here we go. 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 Oh god, oh god, oh god! Ooh. Who needs a gun when you got a fucking axe? Whoa. Oh. And the head comes off a fucking home run. Okay, now we're gonna destroy that plank. And those zombies are stupid as hell. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. All right. I'm sorry, miss. But you got to man the fuck up <clears throat> and understand that we got to... You gotta... might want to break through that board first. Yeah, sorry. That was kind of a stupid move. <clears throat> Ooh, that's right. Here we go. Sorry. Stop. Just stop. I'm coming out. Okay. Who is the mysterious character here? You're hurt. Oh, God. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late. <gasps> for that. Guys, she's been bitten. Uh -oh. What? I told you. I said go away. I'm bit. <laughs> but you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Oh, God. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Damn, that sucks. Okay, okay, we'll leave. Come with us. We'll get help. Whatever you turn and come after us. Okay, we'll leave. Just... Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. Oh. So... Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? <laughs> Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're... They're... Satanic. You can't have a gun. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. You made a difficult choice. And The Walking Dead just stopped working. What the fuck is this? Alright, here we go again. I started the game again. You we can't, can't have let the you gun. do that to yourself. Then do it for 
me. I wasn't gonna change we the option just going. because that's what I originally chose, you know. Give it to me, please. See what happens. This is now. crazy. Please step back. It's just two seconds, just one oh, moment, God. and I can be with my family, oh, and it'll all be fine. This. Back up, please. <laughs> Whoa, take it easy. Oh. You don't want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. Oh, God. You need to think this through. Oh, God. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Okay, yeah, just fucking kill yourself and call everybody in the fucking block. Because this is a fucking slumber party, right? Right. Right. Now, Glenn is gonna puke all over the fucking road. Cause he is a manly man. Let's get out of here. That was quite the puke. He just puked and now he's all good. And yeah, there Shit. comes the slumber here party. They come. Okay, there we go. That's it. it it's just one bullet. Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and well yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Maybe now we can just open the door with the axe that we have and rain on their fucking parade. All right. It is time. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry and Yes, there. we know that already. Just open it up. <coughs> what the... What type of shit was that, bro? <coughs> yeah, it was where the shot. Keys it is, I guess. Okay. Where are the keys? Pick up the frame, maybe? Oh. oh, that is so sad to see that. Fuck me. Find anything? Ooh, he's hiding something, eh? A photo of a family that owned the place. Just a picture. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Oh. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Oh my god, no. What is it to you? It's the apocalypse. Who cares? No, no. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, oh good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. Come on, girl, give uh, me a kiss. Stop talking all that I'll bullshit. I'll just keep it to myself. Oh man, thanks. How can I trust you? Thanks. thanks. Oh, man. Don't worry about it. Carly will remember you trusted her. Okay, then. Well, now we got to get ke ke the keys. We need to break down this fucking door. Doug? How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Let's have a look. Okay. Bro. Let's go. <clears throat> Maybe we can find the keys after. Maybe the keys are there. In that fence. No! Oh, God. Oh, God. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all the care of. And if one gets you, they eat you. 
And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? <laughs> I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay, we got a hardware store, we got a TV store. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Oh, maybe I can turn on the, the TVs with the remote? Nope. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Don't fucking throw it. It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power's still on. Okay. You can just do that? Dapper, you're a genius, well, I dog. I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. All right. Oh god, that is a oh. well fucking done, dog. You're a all fucking genius, dog. Would save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? All that dark nonsense. <laughs> that got a few of them to take notice. All right. But not enough. All righty then. What do we have to do now? Boarded up windows. That oh. guy over oh. there has the keys. How can you be sure? That's his dad? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. His brother. Just need to figure out how to get out there. Oh my them. god. If anything, that's his brother. Long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Oh my god, that Maybe is so hard to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Okay, anything yeah, else that we can work. find here? Dude, that is so heartbreaking, bro. You gotta go towards your brother. Fuck. Okay. Fuck it. Awesome. There we go. Damn, I thought that was gonna make a lot of noise. I thought I, that's why I didn't want to do it. Okay, open it. Nice and easy. The boy got an axe. If anything. If anything were to happen, if everything goes cray cray, shanay nay, your boy out here fully loaded. All right, take a brick and launch the brick towards the TVs. Right? That's exactly what we're gonna do. If you guys didn't know, Lee was not just a teacher, but he was a baseball player. What I tell you? Look at that aim. The guy's a fucking genius. Now the Zambies are focused on the TVs, and we can run to Lee's brother. And I, ju I'm just gonna predict that some crazy no, shit <laughs> is gonna happen with his brother. Hopefully not, though, because you know I'm about that life. Let's go. Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be horrible. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? I hope he doesn't die. I know some really bad shit's gonna happen. Maybe the TVs, I don't know, turn off or something. Electricity goes off. Something bad. Oh my god, he's still alive. Hey, bud. Damn. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Damn. Give me a second. <sighs> that is so hard. I'm sorry I wasn't here. I should have left. I have to finish you I off now. I got to do this now, man. I got to do this. I don't want to spend too much time talking to my dead brother. Because I don't want to get fucking eaten, you know what I mean? So here we go. I'm sorry, bro. Forgive me, y'all. Oh, fuck. Sorry for breaking up. You gotta hit him in the head, Lee. It's in the head, Lee. It's in the fucking head, Lee. Oh god. Lee has no experience with, with, with killing zombies. There, he's dead. Dude, what the finally? There we go. Alright. Did he have the keys? That is the question. Achievement unlocked. Hey, bud. <laughs> That's honestly really fucking sad, bro. The fact that you're attached to a, 
to a being by the exterior part and not the soul, it's kind of crazy. Holy crap! Run! Of course, he would scream out like that and call their attention. Fucking Doug. Smart for nothing. <laughs> now we can't lock the fucking doors. Well, that sucks. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Okay. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. I Let's know. get in there. I know, I know. You don't need to tell me twice, all right? All right, let's get in there twice. We're gonna get the keys. I'm here with this other lady. We're gonna get the fucking... the nitroglycerin for your daddy. Hopefully now you can trust me and see that I'm a good guy. Next time your dad tries to act a fool, I'm gonna slap his ass. Oh, no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Fuck me. And... There it goes. What? Who is this? What? Oh, that's the alarm of the drugstore. Could that be the alarm? It has to be. Yeah, it is. Oh, God. Uh oh. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Oh, here God. You go. Alright, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Away from the windows. Alright. How do you want me to help? Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Well, thank you, Doug. Shut up, Doug. We'll make it through this. We will make it through this. Doug, <laughs> if we don't make it through this, you, you should know that I want to fuck you. You should have sex with you. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. That I want that dirty ass Are you sure? sauce you got going on. Oh, okay. Such a beautiful reporter. Okay. Okay, Clementine. Oh, fuck. Get a stick or something or a plank. Come on, Clementine. Oh, God, Lee, you can't do this all by yourself. Oh, Q. Oh, shit. Q, 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 Q. E. Oh. I found something. Oh, there we go. The baton. I mean, the, uh, the stop. The cane. Put it in there. Put it in the hole. There you go, Lee. That is precise accuracy you got. Oh, no. Duck. You're going to die. Something's going to happen here. Oh, God. Oh no, what am I supposed to do now? Fuck! Save Doug or Carly? I gotta save Carly, she's got the fucking gun! You chose to save Carly. Oh no, no, no! Come on, Carly, go, 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 go! Get him off of me, let's go! Oh no! I am so sorry, Doug! Oh, God. I had to choose the lady that's sexy Let's with a gun. Go. You literally gave me no choice. They got Doug. Ah! Oh! They... You gotta move. Oh, get the fuck off her, you son of a bitch. I got you, Clementine. I'm not going anywhere. Run. What? Fucking dipshit! Fucking dare you! I'm 
I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. I thought he was gonna kill me. <laughs> Especially a good friend. <laughs> Thank you, man. What fucking bitch that asshole. That was so fucking intense. Oh my. Oh goodness, that was crazy. I like Lee a lot as a character. <laughs> Mom and Dad. Damn it. Hey, Glenn. You okay, Glenn? I think I need to go. Uh oh. To Atlanta. Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Alright, Glenn. You do what you gotta do, boo boo. hate that chick's dad he's a fucking bitch i think that's the wrong call you gotta do what you gotta do find your friends no bro you gotta stick with us call. maybe but i'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not i respect that you guys be safe we'll try all right glenn oh he's, he's traumatized by that lady oh god what the fuck's going on here? Okay. Oh, we got Duck over there still fucking telling fairy tales to his dad. Oh, shit happens. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry, I just burped. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. Thank you, Kenny. We have to take care of each other. Mm. Yeah. We do. <clears throat> I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. Thanks, you Kenny. It. You're the man, bro. Can we be homies? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna see what this asshole... Has to say, well, first let's talk to the reporter. How you doing, Curly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. <sighs> I'm sure he liked you too. I'm sorry, Carly. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <sighs> I chose you better have you over anyway over him. I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. I wonder how Wait, how it affects the storyline of me choosing her instead of the guy instead of Doug. What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Hmm. I didn't. I thought you needed the help. I was going to help you both. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Well, yes, because I did. because I don't I just know. Wish we both could have made it, you know. Me too, Carly. I want to hook up Carly on the down low. All right, don't tell nobody here in the group. But you and I, I think we belong together. I think we should do, we should do things and things. You know what I mean? All right, let's go. This guy's telling. <laughs> he's, he's driving the little girl crazy, bro. It's this fucking pow, asshole. Pow, pow. I'm gonna kill him. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast, but you know what? He wasn't. 
Oh, and then? Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. <clears throat> I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Uh, it's just a what? So he can't help us? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be sympathetic with Thanks. her. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, God. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. <laughs> what do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Her dad tried to kill me, so... Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. <laughs> or what? Or, uh... Everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. Ooh. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Oh, this is fucking dipshit, bro. Do you could try me hey, like that? Lee? My name is Lee Everett. Second? Yeah, come here, girl. Let's talk. Fuck it. Let's My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Why is the music changing? I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Oh, Me too. So now we're gonna we stay. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. Is that the end of the episode? Worst places to call home. Yeah, you're right. I think it is. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Uh oh. Did we finish finally the first episode? Fuck that shit was long as hell, bro. Oh my god. Oh, what? Wait, what? To be continued. Dude, oh my... Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. Thank you. You don't know me. Thank you very How much. You doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as your parents. Yeah! Okay. You would never lie to my dad. Even back at the drugstore, whenever we got Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him. What is it happening? <laughs> Yo. No more, please. No more, please. The next episode is gonna be amazing. Please, please. Starved for help. Man, that is going to be one crazy episode. Guys, that has been officially it for the first episode of season one of The Walking Dead. That was longer than I really fucking thought it was going to be. It was actually extremely fucking long. It's already been recorded for like an hour and 30 minutes. That's not even including the first 30 minutes of the first episode. Nonetheless, a very, very interesting episode, man. This is literally exactly like the show. Now we have barricaded the, the, the motel. Now we have intruders or people from the outside coming in. Whether they're good or bad, we do not know yet. I am extremely, extremely excited to find out. I hope you guys enjoyed your stay. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys punch the like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.